I'm sure everybody feels the way where they're with their family and they just feel comfortable when they're with, uh, by themselves, you're your most comfortable. Your pets, you're your most comfortable. You love yourself the most. Um, when we get to the outside world, just like society, everyday life, or just your friends, small group of friends, it gets to, like there's a feeling that comes where you just don't even like love yourself anymore. You, you feel like everybody has their eyes on you and you feel like you're just being judged at all times. So basically put it like this. I feel like it's hard to be ourselves because of the way like society is nowadays and like how we portray how we should be, how we should be skinny, how we should have name brand clothes, just subtle things like that but it, there's just so many of them it just adds up. So the way we think we should be, we constantly strive for that and it takes us away from ourselves and that's why we can't be ourselves. And I was thinking to myself, if we, if we had everything on this world, like the technology, the internet, everything, and you just subtract one thing, other people, you would, you would feel so free. You would, it would be so easy to be yourself. Even if you kept your family, you kept animals, because animals don't give a fuck what you look like. If you kept family, other species, like all the technology, like I said, <clears throat> everything, cars, money, but you just subtracted other people, it, should, it would be so easy, like I said, to be yourself. And I'm not blaming other people. It's just like, it's like we are born to think that way nowadays or programmed at least. I don't think we were born to think this way at all because as kids, we all know that kids are the most genuine people, the most loving people, the most honest people. If they like make a, com a rude comment about somebody, it's like pure honesty. They're not doing it to make fun of people, you know? As kids, we were just so comfortable, like at a certain age. For me, it was, I'd say fourth grade when I started feeling like, whoa, like there's people like judging me. I don't know what it was, but that's when I started to feel it because fourth grade and below, it was just like, I didn't care what clothes I wore. I didn't care if I was dirty. I didn't even care if I stunk. I didn't care if I was fat. I didn't care that I had a gap in my teeth. But just as you get older, you're just influenced by so many others and, and you're just you're just taking the world in like all at once, so quick. And like that, that purity just like goes away and you start to see your insecurities. Like the TV shows that you watch, like when you're a kid kid, you watch cartoons and like the appearance doesn't really matter because it's fake. But then as you get older, you start watching like, for me, it was like Disney Channel or Nickelodeon shows, stuff like that. So you see these teenagers like, or these kids, we just strive to be them. And so if we don't look like them or we're not doing what they're doing, it makes us feel like we're not doing something right almost. It's almost like a battle to, to be aware of everything pulling you away from you. like the world, TV shows, your friends, like society in general, everybody, like you see the magazines. I know I'm just like, I, I'm going everywhere with this, but like you see in magazines, now nowadays it's starting to pick up a little more where you see like uh, plus size models, stuff like that. But you usually see in magazines like models with abs, spray tans, stuff like that. You see, you know, uh, like car ads where the person who's driving it is like a guy in a fancy suit, like a nice watch, clean haircut, clean shave. Marketing is like the devil. Like everything makes you feel worthless, basically. Like even when it comes to fast food commercials, you see skinny people eating like a big ass burger because they make, they make you want to think that like since they're doing it, you can do it too. 
You know what I mean? Hopefully you guys are understanding what I mean. But I think we can't, it's so hard to be ourselves because we're never told that ourself, like myself is like perfect. We're never told that. We're in the age of technology, like social media. I didn't even bring that up yet. That's that could be a whole another topic. But we're just in the, we're just in the age of technology where if you show insecurities or if you show your flaws, it's almost like shunned or frowned upon. Like like everybody doesn't have them when everybody obviously does. And also going off all of that, I think there's a deep reason, a deeper reason why it's so hard to be ourselves and one like I said it's wanting to be you know striving to be someone we're not skinny you know uh, dressed nice things like that we're striving to be someone we're really not at our core but then the deeper reason for that is because everybody pursues acceptance like I do just as well as anybody else we all there's like, there's something deep inside of us that we all just want to feel accepted. We want to feel loved. And the world that we live in nowadays, it's so far from that. Everything that we're exposed to makes us hate ourselves. It makes us judge others. But at the end of the day, we all just want love. Like most of the times when there's a criminal who does a horrible act, you you like go down their, their their family line or their their uh, their past and there's like love missing like they didn't have a dad stuff like that or they were introverted as a kid so their family pushed them away there, there's always that underlying factor of there's no love there there's no acceptance there and we all deal with it I deal with it every day and, it, and it's it's a fine line because of course you have your family members that love you your significant other Maybe your friends even love you, but what is like tearing, what's like stopping us from showing it like unconditionally is every single person, I don't care who you are, is experiencing it. So it's hard to consistently show love to somebody else when we're trying to find ourselves and we're trying to love ourselves, if that makes any sense. For example, sometimes I have a hard time making these videos, like I, I want to spread positivity and messages and talk to people help people through things but some days a lot of days I'm not even right with myself so it's hard to be in front of a camera contradict myself in a way it's hard to be in front of a camera and tell people to love themselves and whatever when I I'm battling it with it myself it's hard it's just like it's just like I said earlier where it's hard to like show unconditional love because everybody is is trying to find that themselves. But yeah, what made me think of this topic is because ever since I was a kid, I've noticed like at home, I'll, I'll wear underwear, just underwear. And just like be around my mom, be around my brothers, not on like some weird stuff, it's just comfortable. And what I'm trying to get at is my whole life, I've dealt with like, my body weight like I've always been insecure about it like the way people look at me stuff like that but when I'm home and I'm with my girlfriend it's like it doesn't even exist it, it's like it doesn't even matter I'm just chilling in my boxers just stuff like that and then when I get out into the world I don't, I'm not scared to take my shirt off to go swimming or something but it's like I think about it and it like it messes me up a little bit because if I'm thinking about myself taking my shirt off I'm also thinking about like if people are looking at me, stuff like that. It's 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 weird because I know and I'm sure we all have that one insecurity, you know? But it's like when you're how do you how can you channel like being at home in real life? Because at home, like I said, it does not exist. The insecurity, the body weight, it doesn't exist. But as soon as I get out into the real world, I'm like conscious of like, you know, how my shirt is. is. Is it showing like, you know, showing like a roll on the side? It's weird. It's a very fine line. And 
again, it just goes back to me wanting to be accepted. I'm not happy where I am with my body weight, but why am I not happy? It's because society tells us to be skinny. And this is a whole nother topic, the idea of acceptance and being loved, but I'll briefly shine light upon that. I think it's, it all starts in ourselves. We have to learn how to channel the love for ourselves that we have in the comfort of our own home in the real world. Because if we're not loving ourselves, but there's an energy that you portray that other people pick up on. So if you're not loving yourself, if you're not confident in yourself, other people pick up on that and, you know, they probably will judge you. Or, on the other hand, they probably see that and they try to help you. But at the end of the day, we just need to love ourselves unconditionally, accept that we're not perfect, you're not perfect, nobody in the world is perfect, there's no such thing, and just, we all just need to realize that. But even though I try to be optimistic about things, I'm also realistic about things. I don't think it's possible. Like, there's too many people in the world, too many people going through different things, too many people raised different ways to where there's no way, absolutely no way we can all be on the same like path or the same wavelength to where we're all thinking the same positively. positively. Even though it's not possible for everybody to love each other, everybody to accept themselves, I don't think the effort is pointless or worthless. I think there's, I think there's hope at least if we all try to. I may be only, only like a dozen people might listen to this, but my effort to these 12 people is, you know, you know, genuine. So I don't think it was pointless for me to make this video, even though no, a lot of people won't hear it. But uh, hopefully you guys see where I'm coming from. I always have like a concrete idea of what I'm trying to say. The main idea behind this video was we just need to accept ourselves and give that energy out to the world and then just like spread it. Like we all just, we all just need that love and acceptance. That's everything. Uh, I'll see you guys next video.